everyone. Here is some exercises that I want to show you to help get you up and get you moving, especially during the holiday. Every little bit of movement is good. You can just kind of walk in place. I'll do this even when I'm in the kitchen preparing some foods. Anytime you can add your arm movements is great. You can walk in place and just simply push your arms out. You're adding a little bit of extra movement as well as you're getting your heart pumping that much faster. Okay, so again, this is something that I can do while I'm waiting for food to be cooking or even walk in place while I'm watching a Zoom or attending an online meeting or just standing in my kitchen talking to my kids while they're doing some of their schoolwork. You can walk forward and backward. Any extra side movements, getting your, your legs, you can extend your arms out, kind of like you're doing punches there. So if your knees are hurting you, you don't have to do all of the, the bouncing. You can simply step side to side and keeping one leg stationary. Again, you don't have to add your hands. It just adds an extra bit of movement. But if you are having problems and afraid of falling, then you don't have to, to do that. You could also just do some extra kicks out there, throwing in those arms to do that extra punching. It'll get your heart pumping. And it just makes you feel better. When you exercise, you have more energy because you're moving. And the movement helps uh, release endorphins, would give you energy. So you go throughout the day, if you're feeling kind of lethargic, just getting some extra movement in your day is great. And you can modify it however you want at whatever levels. So I can simply do one leg out, one leg out at a time if I want to do kind of more of an intermediate exercise, or I can kind of do a little bit of bounce there. And then if you want to go to that third level, that's when you kind of add the arms, throwing them out there like you're punching the sky, like you're mad about something. You can even use a light set of weights when you're doing that, or you can, um, I have some exercise gloves that are five pounds that I put on my hands, so I'm not having to, to hold anything. If you can't do something like jumping jacks, you can just kind of bounce up and down lightly on your knees. You can pretend you're jumping rope there without actually having to jump and have that extra pressure on your knees. Or again, just bouncing and adding the arms up and out, up and out. Anytime you can move, you can turn on your favorite music and you can pretend that you're just, you know, somewhere dancing, put on a little salsa music there and just kind of step your foot forward, step it back, do a little quick step, or you can punch it up a notch. Kind of do a little hop skip thing there. Always moving my arms, always moving my legs. The whole point of just trying to get fit or get more physical activity in your day is simply not being sedentary. So just standing up, even if I'm not jumping or moving or walking from side to side, just getting off that couch and standing up. You know, we all want to sit down and just talk with our family, talk with our friends. I'll let the kids sit down and I get up, especially if I've been sitting at my computer all day because we've been a little bit more sedentary for those of us that might be working at home because I'm not running around my office. I'm not running around my kitchen as much. I'm sitting at my computer doing online classes or putting stuff on our Facebook. So if you haven't checked out our Facebook or want to see some of our videos, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Our uh, handle, our name is uh, Person Granville SES. So you can search that on any of those three social media sites and you'll find us. On Twitter, we're actually Person County SES. But we put information, pretty much kind of the same kind of information, we put it on different social media sites. So whichever social media platform you use, keep going with that and check us out. Look at some of our videos that we've posted since March. Like our page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
and let us know if there's a particular video or information or workshop that you'd like to see. Again, this is Jennifer Brown, Family Consumer Science Agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. Thanks for tuning in and keep moving.